Welcome back, everybody. This is Mr. Lindsay again. Um, had some more uh, things to show you with our cartooning to follow up on the last video. If you had a chance to do any of that, then um, you've probably already tried the character with that square-shaped head. Um, we did a triangle-shaped character, and then we also did one with a pear shape for the head. Um, I'll go ahead and show you that again so we can see what we did last time. So that was what we created last time. And I thought what we could do now is continue that and um, add to these characters and complete them so they aren't just floating heads there. That would be a good idea. Um, we can add the body to the characters and finish them. So I'm going to go ahead and move this. And we'll start off with this guy with the square-shaped head. I'll redraw him really quickly on my uh, dry erase board. And then we can add to him. So this is our square-shaped head character. We'll go ahead and draw his head shape about here okay and then with this one we did our hair up and spiked like so maybe a little different than the last time but close enough alright and then from there we added this long straight eyebrow and the eyes with a little bit of a pupil okay then we're going to go ahead and add his nose. We did this sort of a pointed nose last time, and we gave him a little bit of a grin. So there he is. Now, from here, we're going to continue and add the complete character and finish him up. So to make the rest of them, this is what I usually start with. A neck, and then at the bottom of the neck, I usually draw a little bit of a curve to show where the neck goes into the shirt collar. Um, once I have that, I can go ahead and draw the body. With this one, since we're on the theme of squares with the head, maybe we'll keep his body square. So we'll go ahead and draw that. This can go straight down and cross this way. So similar shape, maybe a little more rectangular, but there's the body. And then for the legs, we're going to go ahead and draw another rectangle a little further in here and then across and to make it look like he has two legs we need to split this down the middle now when it comes to shoes I keep them really simple I just draw ovals to start so kind of an oval shape sticking out and if you really want to get fancy you can add that and it looks like the bottom of his shoe um, so once I have the bottom of a shoe, laces, I usually just draw a line with a couple lines crossing, like so. And there is most of the character. Now arms, one easy way to do arms is just to draw them like this, and it looks like they're going behind his back. So you really don't have to draw the arm that way. You can just leave it like that. And if that's easier for you, then you can skip the hands and don't even have to draw the hands. Um, if you want to try to draw a character with the hands, then we can do it that way too. So let's go ahead and I'm going to erase this piece and make that arm so we can actually do the hand. So we're going to go out this way and then maybe across here. And then this is where the hand would be in this area. Usually when I draw hands on my cartoon characters, I start off with a mitten shape and then add some details to that. So. I'm going to go ahead and draw that. This would be like the thumb of a mitten. And then you can just add a few lines usually to make it look like the fingers. So that's an easy way to draw a cartoon character's hands. A mitten shape, add a couple lines in the middle to make it look like the fingers. So I'll leave it that way. One arm behind his back, one arm down. Um, we can change them and do the arms however you want. But we'll keep that one just as is. And let's go ahead and um, try another one. If I ever move too fast, you can always pause, rewind, go back and see what we did again. You can also go to my Google site and I will have copies of these on there. So you can just look at the copies and maybe try drawing them from the copy on the Google site. Alright, so we also did a character with a pear-shaped head before. And I'm going to draw him pretty quickly, and then we can add the body to him and finish this character. So, pear-shaped head. We started off with something like this for a head shape. OK, 
Okay, somewhere around like that. Then we added his eyes next. This one we did the eyes half closed before. Or half open, whichever way you want to think about it. Okay, and then his nose. This is the one where we made his nose like this. We did two lines there, and then we went around like that. And then we gave him the big mustache before, so we're going to give him a mustache again. And when you do the mustache, that actually makes it so we don't need a mouth because that covers up where his mouth would go anyways. Um, hair. I'm going to change the hair. The last time we did it different. I kind of think this character should look like he's sort of bald. So I'm going to put hair on this side, hair on this side, and leave it bald in the middle. Um, I do skip the ears sometimes on my cartoon characters, but if you want to add ears, you can just easily add a little bit of an ear there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and draw the body. So, neck, collar, and maybe with him we'll make it round. We'll give him more of a round body. So I'm going to start off by going all the way around like this, around like this, and then in the bottom, instead of connecting it by curving, and I'm just going to draw the straight across. Now I have a good spot to start the legs. Same as before, we'll do a rectangle and then draw a line down the middle so it looks like he has two legs. And then we can add our really simple oval shoe shape. We can add the bottom of the shoe. And if there's room, you can try to squeeze in some laces. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add his arms. So let's go ahead and go this direction and then across. We'll go out and across. And his hands we can do with those mittens again. So we're going to draw a mitten, thumb, and then sometimes this pen's a little thick for this, but we'll draw the fingers there. Okay, and then this hand, another mitten shape, thumb, and fingers. There we go. So we have our pear-shaped head character with a nice round body. Um, if you want to add details, we can always add more details from there. Sometimes you can add pockets, all sorts of things. We can add a collar and add more to his collar. You could give him a pocket on his shirt if you'd like. That's pretty simple. So we could do all sorts of things from there. So there is our character completed. Let's go ahead and erase him and try one more. We didn't do this one last time. I actually just created and made this one up this morning. So we'll give this one a shot. So I made a character that was more of a girl with long hair. I did an oval shaped head, a triangle shaped body. It made it look sort of like she was wearing a dress. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. Um, this is actually on my sheet here. It'll be on my web page. So we made something like that. Let's go ahead and give that one a try. So to start, we start off with an oval shape for the head on this one. So we'll do a nice oval. Okay, now the hair, we're going to go ahead and draw a little differently. We're going to have to do a little erasing with this one just because of the way it is. So we're going to draw this here, this, and right to here. Now because of the way I'm doing this later, we're going to have to erase this little bit of the top of her head because it won't make sense once we finish her hair. So we're going to go ahead and start about here and then draw the top of her hair curving around and out. So we'll go right about here, go around and out, and maybe flip it out a little bit. And then we'll do the other side, around and down, and flip it out a little bit. Okay, now this part probably would get erased. So I'm going to go ahead and take my eraser here and get rid of that. Now if you're at home drawing on paper with pencil, this is where you would want to um, make sure you've drawn lightly. I always start off really light right away. 
then I'll go back and change things and darken up my lines. But that's just a line that ends up having to be erased with the way we drew it. So now I would go ahead and go ahead and add her face. Um, with this character, let's do the eyes first and let's try glasses on this one. So for glasses, I'm just gonna do some rectangles, one here and one here. Okay, and then I'll put a line in between to connect the glasses. And if I have room, I can always add that piece there. And because it's kind of small, there's not a lot of room for details in the eyes. We're just going to do dots. Now for her nose, maybe we'll just do a nice um, pointed nose here. So let me zoom in a little bit. It looks like she's kind of small. Okay, the nose. We'll just do a little pointed nose here. And then the mouth. We'll do a little grin on this one too since I'm running out of room. There, there's her smile. Okay, so we'll add um, the body and the rest of the character next. So the neck, we'll do the same as before and start off with a little neck there. Draw the collar. And then we'll go ahead and draw this large triangular shaped body, which will make it look like she's wearing a dress when we're all done. Okay. Um, now I can add her legs with a, another rectangle, split it down the middle. Okay, it looks like she has legs now. I can put socks here if I like. And then shoes, do the same. Just a nice simple oval. And with this one I actually drew little uh, squares inside. And then I colored her shoes black and left that part white. It kind of looks like she's wearing some sort of a dress shoe. And you can see a little of her sock showing in between there. Like there's a buckle on her shoe. Okay, there's her shoes. Now um, let's go ahead and get to the arms. Maybe we'll do one arm to the side like we did on some of the others. So we'll go like this and say, okay. This arm's kind of to the side or behind her back. This other arm, we're going to make it go out this way. So let's go ahead and go like that. So our arms look like it's reaching this way. This might get in the way a little bit, so I'm going to have to erase a little bit of that hair. And then we're going to go ahead and go out and up. And with this character, just for fun, instead of having her hand down on the side, let's do her thumb here and two fingers doing a peace sign. There we go. That's easy enough. Okay, so she's given a peace sign there, and then we'll complete the other side of her hair. That's pretty much it for that character. We could add some different things if we like. We could add some details to her hair. Okay, we could always add lines in her hair. That's pretty simple to add. Okay, we could always add something on her dress if we like. We could keep it really easy and maybe just do a flower on her dress. Or we could put flowers all over the dress if we want and make a nice pattern out of it. Okay, so there's a little flower on her dress, but anyways, it gives you the, the main idea, and you could do all sorts of different things from there and kind of make it your own. So there's three characters we've created from start to finish. Um, you can go ahead and, like I said, if you like, go to my uh, Google site, and you can try some of the other things that are there. You can look at the handouts that I've posted and use them on your own at home and try them out, um, and we'll keep adding to these videos. So I will see you next time.